Hey, what's up guys, e 94 back with another action figure review, and today we are looking at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series from The Mandalorian, we have Bo-Katan. So this is of course Bo-Katan from the TV show The Mandalorian, not the Clone Wars animated series. She made her live action debut in season 2 of The Mandalorian, which was pretty fun to watch and, you know, overall awesome. So I'm glad that Hasbro wasted no time in releasing a figure for Bo-Katan. So let's get right into it. So here is the front of the package. Continuing on with our little mural of images on the side there that you can connect with previous releases. This is number 10 from the Mandalorian series. And on the back side we do have a read-up that reads, A gifted warrior, Bo-Katan is a legendary Mandalorian. She refused to align with the Empire's occupation of Mandalore. So let's crack this thing out of the box, but before we do that, make sure you check out the links down below in the description where you guys can go ahead and order yourself a Bo-Katan figure if you so wish. So Bo-Katan comes out of the package unmasked, unhelmeted, just like this. We have a portrait of the actress, which is actually the same uh, voice actress from the Clone Wars. They use the same uh, actress for both live action and the voice in Clone Wars, which is awesome. That doesn't happen all the time, so I'm happy to see that that happened because she actually looks great as her as well. So it it worked out. That wasn't the case for Ahsoka Tano, but that's different. I think it still worked out either way. As always, Hasbro does a good job with Mandalorian figures. This one is no different. We have some nice weathering and paint effects and just overall paint job and sculpt on the figure itself. It's a brand new sculpt of course. We haven't gotten this one uh, at all. And we have a few accessories, not a lot, but we get her helmet and we get her two weapons, her two pistols. Here's a closer look at the portrait. The head sculpt looks good. It's not horrible. I won't say it's a hundred percent likeness, but it's not too bad. I can see it in some angles. I definitely see the face. So it's not horrible, like I said. I think it's it's okay for a $20 Black Series figure. Not too bad at all. There's the side, and then here's the back. And then we can see the detail. There's the jetpack, which actually counts as an accessory. It comes attached already, but it is detachable. Pegs into the back. You're probably going to always have her wear it. And then there is the symbol on the right shoulder, and then the symbol on the left shoulder right there. Same one. Uh, the torso, the gunmetal, shimmery, nice metallic paint. I like that a lot. And then you can kind of see the brown dirtiness painted onto the forearms, the shoulders, overall the entire figure. The belt, uh, the brown is clean. That could have been a little bit more weathered or darker. Uh, maybe some black wash would have helped that look a little better. That's the only thing that looks a little off compared to everything else that's dark and weathered down. But it's not a big deal. There's the back side and down to the boots. I think this figure looks fantastic, guys. You can kind of see she has some whistling birds on her forearm right here. So that's cool. And now for the helmet. So here's the second accessory. I guess if we want to count the jetpack as the number one accessory. Here's the helmet. We got some weathering, some scratches, some battle damage there. Overall, it looks good. The antenna right here. I'm sure that's not called an antenna but whatever goes forward and back and then there's the inside and of course you simply just slide it over the head and now you can have Bo-Katan with her helmet which would probably be the way most people will display her the majority of us will and I think that looks great now last but not least we get her accessories for weapons and they're both the same we get dual wielding pistols with a brown grip and just a gray for the for the gun itself and that's it and she can hold both weapons just fine both hands are trigger finger posed hands meant for the two pistols so that looks good if you do not want to hold the pistols in her hands you have two holsters on the side there that you can holster both just fine nicely snug there now you have Bo-Katan with everything attached. Okay, so moving on to the articulation of Bo-Katan. The head is on a ball peg, not a ball jointed hinge. So it's going to move up. Not too bad, to be honest. You could clearly see the skin underneath. You could see her head underneath there. Uh, she can look down pretty good too. Good enough for me. Left and right. 
we got some head tilts some nice head tilts so you can give her some some attitude you know some emotion some expression even though she doesn't have a face right now because she has a helmet on the arms are going to go forward and back they go in and out the shoulder pads tuck in under the shoulders so that doesn't hinder anything so that's awesome i like that and go back down there is no bicep swivel none at all we have a single jointed elbow but they're those awesome star wars single jointed elbows so they bend more than a 90 degree bend they're actually better than a double jointed sometimes they swivel right there we have side hinges on both hands so she can aim her her pistols uh, we have a kind of a lower diaphragm joint there it's not a waist swivel but it's a diaphragm joint lower i don't know sometimes they're up here most of the time they're up here so that's why i say lower so you can swivel it there and you can go back and you can go forward at that diaphragm joint legs are going to kick forward and they're going to go back they go in and out we get thigh swivels we get uh, single jointed knees that bend very very nice swivel at that knee no shin swivel we get a hinge at the ankle and a rocker at the ankle as well so first up we'll get in a mandalorian loyalist from the clone wars and technically it's the death watch mandalorian so this looks pretty good next to bo -Katan. i'll go ahead and throw in a second one just because it looks good and there's a look at the two death watch mandalorians next to Bo-Katan. even though these are from the clone wars animated series they still look good and go good with bo -Katan. makes me wish that hasbro would make the other two mandos that bo -Katan was with in the show Casca reeves and axe wolves i think their names were uh it would be cool to get those i don't think we will because i don't think they play a big enough part but who knows maybe eventually we might next we'll get mando and the child next to bo -Katan, and he does stand taller than bo and up next, just to get another female character compared next to Bo, we have Cara Dune. It's about the same height. Bo Katan has a helmet, so she might have a slim uh, advantage over Cara Dune here. But I still think this Cara Dune might be a little bit underskilled. I don't think we'll ever get another Cara Dune. Who knows what will happen now that she is no longer on the show. I don't know if they're going to recast her or whatnot. But we'll see what happens with that in Season 3. Next we have her next to the armorer, and she is a little bit smaller than bo -Katan. Here she is next to the SH Figuarts version of Baskar Armored Mandalorian. He does stand taller just like the SH Figuarts. And then here we have her next to Odious the Clone Trooper. And here she is next to Grand Admiral Thrawn. And then lastly we'll get her compared next to Moff Gideon. And who knows if we will ever get to see this, but maybe we will. So here's a a sneak peek of uh, maybe a what if you know maybe what will <laughs> who knows of bo -Katan with the dark saber the weapon is in the possession of Din Djarin which is the Mandalorian we shall see what happens with that in season three season three is going to be just a ride I think I, I cannot wait anyways that is going to conclude my review of the Hasbro Star Wars the Black Series Bo-Katan figure from the Mandalorian. It is very, very nicely done. I think they did a great job. They did the best they could. And uh, I really do recommend it. Don't pass this one up. I think you'd be crazy to pass it up, especially if you already have all the Mandalorian figures. If you're a fan of the show, which 9 out of 10 of us are, um, this is a must-have. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, be sure to check out my previous past reviews. Stay tuned for more reviews. Leave a like, comment down below what you guys think of the figure. Subscribe if you have not done so already. And as always, have a great day. Bye.